Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Anizi with What if Naruto was the son of the Scarlet Witch? So, let's get started. Wanda had just finished using her powers to destroy all of the dark holds across the multiverse. She wanted one thing and that was to have a son and legacy. Unknowingly, she summoned the last of her magic. She willed it to create a child, but she had learnt that making a child from thin air would make it dispel. So instead she used her powers to put the child in a host, a vessel to give birth to it. She had found a woman called Krishna Uzumaki from a place that wasn't that dangerous, the land of the chakra, aka the land of elemental nations, a weak land where her child would most likely dominate and rule the world if they ever challenged him. So she decided she put in there because first of all Krishna was a pregnant woman and that would make it easy to hide. The woman was also a redhead so that wouldn't cause problems. She then wielded her magic inside of Krishna Uzumaki. The chaos magic takes form of a child. She felt weaker. Her entire reserves were depleted. The remaining reserves she had after fighting Strange and the Strangely Dark Hold had just depleted in creating the child. I will come when I can my son. Wait for me she says as she passes out, magic nearly drained, she barely had enough to survive, she was now in a coma. We now go to the night of the Ninetales attack. Krishna had just finished giving birth to triplets, the first being Menma, her son, the second being Mito and the third being Wanda's son, Naruto. It was weird since Tsunade had said they were only twins but suddenly a third triplet had just been formed. Sonali said it was probably just a malfunction in the machines, but Krishna didn't believe it. The child doesn't look anything like her. Suddenly, as she was thinking this, a masked man appeared and kidnapped Menma, threatening to kill him if Minato doesn't hand her over. So, Minato allows him to take Krishna. Krishna was grateful. She didn't want Menma to die. If it was Naruto, it would have been a different story. She would have happily let that little bastard die. That child, that thing wasn't her son. But Menma, no, she couldn't let him die. The masked man then releases the nine tails from her as Minato manages to deflect the tail beast bomb that the nine tails fires. Krishna then using the remaining of her energy uses her chains to hold down the beast. Minato then does some hand signs. Summoning Jutsu, Minato says, as Gamabunta appears, assisting Krishna in holding the nine tails. After that, Minato does hand signs. Uzumaki style, nine tails seal, he says using the seal to split the nine tails into half and then seal it into Menma Mito. This was a seal made by Mito Uzumaki to hold the original nine tails. Krishna then rushes to Menma Mito. My children, my babies, you're the best. You saved the world. You saved us, she says, as then she spots Naruto. You disgusting little trash. I knew you were a monster. It was you that allowed that monster to take us. No, wait, you're that monster's son. You can't be my child, Krishna says. As she thought he was a freak, he looked nothing like her or Minato. That thing wasn't her son. You monster, you are my son. I know it. When I have a son, I can feed it. A mother can feel if that child is theirs and you aren't mine. You aren't Minato's. You're a monster. Maybe that's why the masked man took my Uzumaki son and placed you here as a placeholder. Krishna says going mad. Yes, that's right. Not my son. She screams as the baby looks up at her. She got angry, she raises her hand and was about to bring it down to slap the child but Minato appears beside her, stopping her, not realising that that was Naruto. Krishna, what are you doing? That's our ch ch what, what the hell is that? Krishna, do you sleep with a random bastard? You better have not. Minato yells. No, no I didn't Minato-kun. You have to realise. That thing must be that masked man's son. He must have kidnapped a true Uzumaki child and then left that trash here. He's not ours. She yells, out frustrated as Minato hugs her. You're right, I believe you. Calm down, Krishna. We will make this bastard suffer for his father's actions. After his father was the one that released the Ninetales. Right now, we will have a scapegoat to protect Menma and Mito. So, instead of killing him, I say we make him suffer. We will have the, him as a slave. We will have the village treat him as a punching bag to defend Menma and Mito, says Minato. As Krishna and Minato smirked before she picked up Naruto and dropped him on the floor. Naruto started to cry before Krishna used the killing intent to make the child silent. That's right you lowly piece of scum. Know your place. 
you know Minato, I like your idea. Let's tell the village the truth that that is the demon, Krishna says as Minato smirks. Ambu, yells Minato as the Ambu comes into the hospital. Please escort this demon vessel to the Namakazi compound, Minato says. Oh, and make sure to place him in the dungeons. That lowly scum deserves it, Minato says as the Ambu nod. Yes, sir, the captain says as he escort the demon to the dungeons of the Namakazi compound using a sh- body flicker technique. Minato then looked at his children, Ben Mamito. Now then, my baby boy, my little girl, it's time to introduce you to the world as the heroes that save the village, that hold back the chakra while that monster, we should have a name. Yes, Naruto, the worst ramen flavor. We will name him that, Minato says, absolutely dis- despising Naruto. As Krishna smut, I couldn't agree less, any less. She says as the two walked towards the village. They were now standing in front of the village. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to introduce you to the heroes of the village, Men Mamito, who hold back the chakra of the beast, while the beast itself is called Naruto, who is currently in the dun- dungeons of the Namakazi compound. Minato says as everybody starts to cheer, Yes, the demon's been confined. Keep him away from us. Beat him up. Torture him, was what they yelled. We now go to an age 5 Naruto. Naruto's life had been a living hell, like a living hell. He barely got food. His meals consisted of breadcrumbs and water droplets, just enough to make him survive. He was skinny. The reason why he was kept alive was because that that man Minato Namakazi told him that he was a scapegoat to protect Menma Mito and that he's nothing else but trash, demonic filth. His mistress Krishna Uzumaki slapped him when he called her mom, like how his siblings called her. She told her, him that she wouldn't be a mother to a monster, a demon. Krishna beat on him every day. He has burn marks from the fire jutsu she would use and chakra chains marks from when she whipped him with her chains, with his chains. His body hurt. He couldn't move. Every day, he would, wouldn't even be able to stand up. His body was hurting. It hurt. They would beat him till he couldn't feel anything and then they continued to break his body down. His bones were always broken. They were never a point when they were fixed. He was used as a training dummy for Men Mamito. They had him stand there as Men Mamito practiced jutsus that they would learn from Dryer Sunadi, Minato, Krishna, Kakashi. It hurt. They wouldn't even stop after he was knocked out. Then after he woke up after being subjected to such torture, his mistress Krishna Uzumaki would throw stones at him until he was out, until he was knocked out once again. Why me? Nato says crying. Why, why do you hurt me? I, I just want to be happy, Naruto said softly, trying to stop himself from crying before Krishna came in, but it failed. The doors were slammed open. You damn monster, how dare you cry? This is your punishment, this is what you deserve. First you cry, and now you ruin our children's birthday, you monster, yells Krishna as she beat him even more. Ah, as he screamed out in pain as chakra chains whipped him, as she punched him, breaking his jaw, breaking his nose. She choked him before she got an idea. It was a final time before her family would force the monster to leave so that they can train the child of prophecies. So they had to beat Naruto up, up. They had to beat up Naruto and with a bang. This would be a precious way to introduce the village to the new punching bag. She was kind of sad she'd lose her punching bag, but she was with Krishna Uzumaki. She had priority, so she could easily make the lesser villagers stop while she took her anger out on the punching bag when it became public. She then grabbed her chains and brought Naruto out. Naruto's eyes widened in fear as he saw many people in front of him. He wasn't inside the cage, so he wasn't safe anymore. The cage was like a safe haven for him where people wouldn't attack him. People wouldn't go in that cage. But now he was out and now there were thousands of people staring at him with demonic eyes or what like the demonic eyes to him, ready to beat him up, ready to deliver what they could was justice on him. Please don't take me out there, Naruto softly says with fear before Krishna snapped him, making him cry. Stop crying, you weak, ugly disgrace of a monster. Your tricks won't work on me. You're no child, you're a demon. She yelled, slapping him even more as Naruto cried harder and harder. They then arrived in front of everybody. Mom, why'd you bring the demon to our party? It's disgusting, says Menma. Yeah. Why is that disgusting murderer here? Yells Mito. You really think I will bring this monster without a reason? Men, Mito, remember those new techniques you got? 
well, why didn't you show the clan heads how strong you are? We do need a target. And look, the demon, the monster can be your target. So why didn't you use your jutsus on the monster to show the other clan heads your power? Krishna says as the twins eyes lit up and they cheered. The whole village started to cheer. Everybody present in the Namakazi man manor started to cheer. Thank you, mum. They said as Krishna stopped. Naruto before you could escape. How dare you demon. You cannot escape. As she used her chains to wrap him around the pillars of the house. Before Memamito stepped up. Now then demon. It's time we put you in your place. Water style. W water wave. Says Mito. As the jutsu Krishna taught her. Rushes at Naruto drowning him. Uh, uh, I can't breathe. Naruto says as everybody laugh. Ha 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 demon. You really think anybody will help you? Mito yells as her. Friends also started laughing. Ha ha ha, the demon's gonna die, Hinata yells. Yes, kill the demon Mito Summer, yelled Sasuke, who was in love with Mito. Oh no, the demon's drowning. It's not like that's a bad thing, Hinata says as she held Mema's hand. That's right, that disgusting disgrace shouldn't even come near us, says Menma. But that's not all, Mema says, as he also walked up to the stage, letting go of Hinata's hand. Lightning style, lightning current, Mema yells as... He does hand signs and the water is then shot. The water made the effects of the shocks even worse as Naruto screamed out in pain. Ah, it help, hurts, help me, yells Naruto as he was being tortured. Please stop, Naruto cried out. I beg you, he said. Ha 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 ha, did you really think we'd stop after what you did to us? Did you stop when we begged? You demon, councilwoman Harana said as Sakura cheered. Yeah, you're getting your due. We're going to make you suffer for what you did, for all the people you killed. This is what you deserve, was what were the village was saying as Naruto cried as blood started to fill the water. Okay, Mama, stop. We can't kill the monster or else he might get stronger by taking back his power from you, Minato says. Lying, he just wanted to prolong Naruto's suffering. Mama then dropped Naruto and so did Mito as they stopped using their jutsus. Ambu, get the monster out of this house. He's no longer welcome there. He belongs in the streets. Also, make sure that monster don't die. We don't want him coming back stronger, yells Minato, enraged at the sight of Naruto's. Now that he wasn't taking pain, he never took pleasure in seeing Naruto. He only liked Naruto when he was in pain. The Ambu nodded as they took Naruto out. Best gift ever, mum, the twins said as Minato pouted. They always said Krishna one-upped him, no matter what he tried. Perhaps it was time for to teach the twins the flying Raijin. Naruto woke up as he was surrounded by... He saw villagers looking at him with their demonic eyes, ready to deliver justice on him. Even though it wasn't justice, it was just lies and revenge for no reason at all. So, you finally kicked out the Namakazi Uzumaki compound. Good. It's about time that the Hokage kicked you out. We can't have you corrupting our heroes, said the villagers. Naruto, you are now kicked out from the Namakazi Uzumaki compound, Ambu said, as he disappeared. Now you have nowhere to run from us, no safe heaven, demons, says the villager. As the others started to agree, they then smirked as they pulled out their pitchforks and weapons. Naruto got scared, he was shivering in fear. The villager got closer and closer as Naruto let out a scream. His eyes glowed red. The world started to shift. The weather started to change. It went from sunny to night. And then it went from a full moon to complete darkness. Then order to space, the world was glitching out, not as reality warping powers were affecting the whole world, he was scared, he couldn't control it. The world suddenly got flipped upside down, only Naruto was in the right place, as the villagers saw something form underneath them, it was a red circle, as shadows were seen grabbing them, as it started to pull on them, pulling them in. What, what's going on? It, it's the demon, he's using his demonic magic. Help us, the demon's doing something, Ambu. We're gonna die. Hokage Summer, please help us. The demons are trying to kill us. The the villagers in fear as villagers started to scream out in pain as they were being ripped apart. Help, help. L let us go, demon. M -m Mercy. P please, I beg you. Don't, don't, don't kill me. Take the others. They were the ones that did the damage. It wasn't me. Please, please. Until they were fully ripped apart. Their remains fully disintegrated. Not to have no target left started to lash out his magic destroying buildings as it started killing villagers, orphans and everybody in the deep village started to fear. The Ambu saw this, their eyes widened. What do we do now, Inosama? said Kat as she 
asked the captain. Guys, shoot your jutsu. We need to see how fast he can react. Kakashi says as they all agreed and started f- firing fireball, water balls, mud balls, lightning balls, air balls at Naruto, who just stood there in fear, his chaos magic lashing out, whipping them back at the shinobis. The jutsus went straight, flying back at the shinobis, killing them. Kakashi saw Naruto take a moment break after deflecting them, so he timed it. He yells at them to shoot the jutsus one last time, as they did. Kakashi then rushes at Naruto, seeing the opening. Chidori, he yells, rushing at Naruto, stabbing him in the heart as blood leaked up from Naruto. Suddenly, an even darker shade of red surrounded Naruto, making a cocoon of energy, of chaos magic, protecting him. As it sent Kakashi flying away, his hand was ripped off him. Inside of the cocoon, Naruto floated there, pain in his body. The dark shade of red energy appeared before him as it took the form of a woman. Naruto flinched back in fear. Anytime anybody came close to him that wasn't him, they would attack him, hurt him. The woman got closer. As she noticed this, she got mad. How dare these Mongols hurt a baby boy like that? Please don't fear me, young one, says the woman. Please, please don't hurt me. I didn't mean to hurt them, Naruto said in a soft, scared tone. He was a child, but everybody had hurt him. He wasn't in the cage anymore, which means he wasn't in a safe place from the evil beanies. Hello little one, don't be scared, I'm your mother, said the woman as she pet Naruto on the head lovingly. Naruto flinched when he heard mother and when he felt her touch, remembering what Mistress Krishna did when he called her that, and also what other women did when they touched him. But this one was different, he could feel it. She was nice, her touch felt nice and soothing. Hell, hello. I, I, I'm Naruto, said the scared boy. My baby boy, what have they done to you? You can't even be touched. You're so touch deprived, said Wanda in her head as she brushed his cheeks. His reaction to being touched showed fear. My baby boy, I'm so sorry for choosing such a monster as a vessel for your birth, Wanda says, hugging him as she explained everything how Thanos killed Naruto's dad vision, how Naruto was born, and that he was her son and how his powers work and everything about Wanda. Will I ever have to get scared of anybody again because I don't like it? They, they, they hurt me, they're scary, mummy, says Naruto. No Naruto, you're my son, Naruto Maximoff, my baby. My time is running out. I will recover my magic soon and I'll awaken soon. After that I shall join you, but until then, don't let anybody kill or hurt you. Show them who you are, you're Naruto Maximoff, you will never be hurt again. Instead, you will hurt the people that hurt you. Now go, Naruto Maximoff. Show them the true lord of this world. Wanda says as Naruto nodded. Okay, mummy. I can't wait till you come back. When you come back, you come to see me as the ruler of this world, Naruto says cutely. As Wanda hugged him, he flinched a bit, but soon went back to normal knowing that it was Wanda. He will soon lose all of his fear. Here's one last gift, Wanda says as she touches Naruto's head and knowledge of the dark hold magic book is learned by Naruto. He is healed. His body is to the max condition it can be, beyond healthy. The cocoon then snaps open as Ambu surround Naruto. Naruto holds out his hand, red magic surrounding it, as he makes the Ambu float up using his telekinetic powers. Apart from Captain Kakashi, who had left to inform Minato of what had just happened when the cocoon surrounded Naruto. Naruto then squeezes as the Ambu screamed out in pain. Ah, let us go, you demon. Ah, it hurts. Yelled the Ambu. With Minato. Minato had just finished announcing Men Met Mito as the clan heads after Naruto was thrown out and officially removed from the Namakaze clan. He was pressured by Dryer. He didn't know why, but he couldn't care less. At least the demon was gone. Minato watched as Dryer took the cha- stage. He was now going to explain why he was so desperate to have Naruto removed from the clan. Hello everybody, as you may know who I am, I am the super puppet, Dryer the Gallant, Toad Sonin, but that's not why I'm here, I am here to tell you why we have kicked out the demon so early, well other than the fact that the demon is a demon, the reason that I had him kicked out so early is because of a prophecy, now I shall summon Ma and Pa, two of the elder toads who will tell you what have been said, so that you can believe me and that I am not lying, says Dryer as he summons Ma and Pa. 
Hello there whippersnappers, we are here as the second oldest toads of our clan other than our grand elder toad who has told us the prophecy that will affect this world. This is the prophecy he has told us. The child is not born, he is forged. He or she has no coven, no need for incantation. He or she power exceeds that of the sage of six paths. The bunny goddess Kagyo Tsuki and the Shinigami himself and even Kami herself. It is his or her destiny to either destroy or rule the world, Ma and Pa said. The room was shocked. This is why we must make sure men and meet are loved and happy so that they can help Leaf rule the world and achieve peace, yells Dryer, as one by one everybody starts to clap and cheer, not knowing it was Naruto who was not born but forged by his mother, Wanda, therefore he is the child of prophecy. Lord Memamito will make the leaf great again. No, the greatest of all time. We'll follow you to the end, Lord Memma, Lord Mito. No wonder they got the demon away before he can influence them. It's a good thing. They will destroy him since they have the power to destroy the world, which means they could destroy the demon. Our saviors yelled the clan heads, the council members, as well as the villagers that were at the party. Suddenly, the door slammed open as Kakashi came running in. Sensei, we need your help. It's a problem. Naruto, he's killing the villagers, yelled Kakashi as everyone got mad. What? What has the demon done now? Kakashi yells Krishna as her good mood had been ruined after everything. Sensei, he killed the villagers that were ganging up on him and he managed to stop several ambujutsus and I barely managed to chidori him but then some red chakra barrier formed around him protecting him. We need to stop him before the demon gets stronger, Sensei yelled Kakashi as Minato stared in disbelief. The Ninetales was in his son and daughter. The monster was just a scapegoat, but maybe he was wrong. Maybe Naruto wasn't the son of the masked man. Maybe he was the son of the Ninetales demon all along. I mean, it could explain why he looked so different, why there was a third child that formed randomly out of nowhere, and why he has red chakra. Minato thought as he looked at Krishna and they both nodded. She has theorized the same thing, which means it had to be correct if Uzumaki had theorized it. Khan heads, Krishna, Dry Sensei, Sanadi Sama, you come with us, with me. It's time we put that demon down, yells Minato as the other agreed. Dad, can we come with you to see the demon die? asked the kids as Minato and the other fathers glared. Dodo Kagi said, the clan heads, Krishna, Dry Sensei, Sanadi Sama, Oni, now sit down and do what you are told to do and enjoy the party. You will not be coming to face a demon, he's too dangerous, yells Fugaku slapping Sasuke as Sasuke fell down. The other parents said in a nicer way though, Sasuke fell to the ground as he started crying. As Menma laughed at his rival being slapped, Sokka then ran and hugged him comforting him. It's okay Sasuke, -kun. I'm sure your father never meant it, he just wants to protect you, says Sokka as she rubbed herself against him. Minato then grabbed onto the clan heads and the uh, Sanins as well as his wife and did some hand signs locking the compound before he teleported away so the kids couldn't disobey. When they arrived, they were shocked. They saw Naruto holding a Ambu up. The Ambu were floating and Naruto's hands had some sort of red chakra. What they thought was chakra but was actually chaos magic around them. Naruto then squeezed his hands making them cry and pain. Help! You don't have to do this. F forgive us. Hokage-sama, you're here. Help us. The Ambi yelled. Forgive you? Did you or the shinobis or the villagers forgive me? Give me mercy? No, you didn't, Naruto yells. Naruto, stop this now. I demand you to stop and face up to your crimes for attacking the villagers, yells Minato as Naruto turned to him. Oh, look, the trash has arrived. I've been waiting for you. Well, I didn't need you. Well, I don't need you now. Naruto says as he looks at the Ambu. Let them go now, Naru. Snap was heard as Minato was saying this. Naruto snapped the necks of, of the Ambu with his telekinesis. You killed them. You committed treason. First the villagers Kakashi told me about and now my Ambu. Naruto, you'll be punished for this, yelled Minato in rage. Oh my, such lies. Innocent villagers? How are the innocent villagers when they attacked me? Like you all did for no reason, Naruto yelled. They are innocent, unlike you, demon. You're the son of the QB, aren't you? We figured it out. That's right, I know your secret. Now, demon, explain how you have your chakra. Wait, 
You stole your father's chakra as well, didn't you? Minati yells. Oh really then? Since the Uchiha's have red eyes, does that make them a demon? Or are the leaf demons since they chose red flames on their cloak? Not to ask. How dare you insult the Uchiha clan? We are elites, yelled Fugaku. How dare you insult my village? We are the leaf village, the best nation, the highest nation in the world, says Minato as Naruto chuckles. <laughs> I didn't insult you, you idiots. I just asked you a question since you idiots claim that I'm the son of the QB, yes, because I have red chakra. So I was asking, are Uchiha's demons because they're red eyes? Do you not understand? Uh, you're claiming that anything red is a demon. That means that half of your village is demons. Naruto says, as Minato got angry, how dare you? You are the son of the QB. Minato yells, no, idiot. My father is Vision Stark and my mother is Wanda Maximoff, says Naruto. As he mentioned, the person who Wanda said was his father since Wanda based his genetics of herself and vision. Liar, you're the son of the QB. He's your father, yelled Krishna. Now we shall kill you, demon. Attack, yells Krishna, as Fugaku sends a fireball and all of the other clan heads start using their techniques at Naruto, only for their attacks to hit themselves. You leaf idiots, really like your bloodline, don't you? You call yourself the best, the strongest village, don't you? Well, Namakazi, challenge accepted. I'll make a better village, a stronger village than you. My village will be the strongest. I'll make sure it will be on top of the world. I'll have an army that will help me rule the world with me on top. I'll rule everything. And if I can't, I'll just destroy it all. Naruto says laughing. So you're going to flee now, you cowardly demon. You run away. Krishna says, flee, run away. No, I'm just making this fun. Destroying you now wouldn't be as fun. Torturing you slowly by taking away everything you love will be the fun for me. But you're right. I have to show you your places and that I'm serious. So watch a portion of my power and effect. And Arthur says, first, the leaf shall have no more chakra based blood bloodlines. Naruto says as every bloodline user fell to the ground losing the bloodline as they screamed out in pain. pain. My Byakugan, what did you do? yelled Hizashi. My Shiningan, where's my Shiningan? yelled Fugaku. The other clan heads were, si were saying similar things as they were screaming where their bloodlines went. It's simple, my power allows me to control reality to my will. I just thought of you losing your chakra based bloodlines and you lost it. Naruto says with humor, give it back. Give it back now, you demon, yells the clan heads. Naruto, you give my village back their bloodlines. Do you know what you've done? You just made us weaker, yells Minato, who had helped a near chakra empty Krishna up to her feet. Her special Uzumaki chakra is gone, as Naruto started to laugh. <laughs> In your dreams, you don't d demand or command me, Hokage bastard, Naruto says. Now that the clansmen have lost their bloodlines it's your turn to be punished Minato you and all those close to you shall forget and never be able to recreate the Hiroshin or the Rasengan Naruto says as Minato forgot everything M my Hiroshin what did you do to it I can't remember it you give it back now my Rasengan do you know how long that took me to make and I forgot everything about it what will happen if the rock and leaf what will, what will happen if the rock and cloud found out the leaf will be attacked plus there's no more bloodline users to defend us and I can't be the yellow flash anymore. You don't destroy us, yelled Minato, worried. That's the point, idiot. I'm gonna make you suffer. But I'm not done yet. All leaf shinobi shall have a genetic disease that will give chakra failures 25% of the time, which means that you will either will wield too much chakra or too less chakra in your jutsus. And half of the times you will fail to even activate your chakra, Naruto says. As that started happening. As Many of them fell to the ground when that happened. Naruto, stop this now, yelled Minato. You're insane, Naruto. You can't be doing this. You're a demon. You're meant to be under our control, yelled Krishna. Oh, but you can't stop me. I'm not done yet. Suddenly, every leaf citizen was here chained up in front of Naruto. An injured member meter who had just lost the chakra and the, the QB had just blown up the bodies. Parts of the bodies, but they had barely managed to handle the QB because Naruto had allowed them to keep some of the Uzumaki bloodline since he didn't want them dying since it wouldn't be fun. What are you doing you demon? I will kill you for chaining me, Menma says. Yeah, you dirty demon. Let me go now. I'm Mito Uzumaki, the greatest in the world, Mito says. Shut your bloody ass mouth. No leaf shinobi shall speak, Naruto says as the leaf shinobi tried to speak but they couldn't. 
Now then, Dryer, I heard how your stupid prophecy was the reason why I was kicked out. Not that I care, but I want some revenge. Well then, Dryer, it's time for your punishment, Nard says as he touched Dryer and Dryer's mind was under his control. He made Dryer do the summoning jutsu as all of the toads were summoned there. Nard then grabbed him in a chokehold. His telekinesis was used to choke the life out of the toads slowly as Dryer watched in pain and anger as he saw his family slaughtered. Remember Mita were mad as they saw the summons were killed, as well as Minato, Krishna felt bad. Minato watched as Jai started to cry, My family, you, you killed my family, Jai said as Nato allowed him to start speaking. Oh look Krishna ho, there's a new cry baby, Nato says as Krishna glares at him, she couldn't speak. Now Jaya, when I return to kill you, I will make you kill your love Sonali, but first I will make sure that you destroy everybody you love. But anyways, moving on, I will now punish the village. Half the village shall turn into bloodthirsty demons who can only be killed when their own family kills them. And they will hunt down their own family only. Nata says with sadistic pleasure as he saw half of the village start to turn into demons. He was going to make Leaf's family kill each other. He was going to make them hate each other. Nata then made a giant ball of chaos magic and demolished all of the Kage's head up except from Minato as he hovered above the as he hovered it above the clan district that would destroy the whole clan districts now then after i drop this dirty head on the village you'll be free to move and talk and go about your day and the demon your family members have turned into should start hunting you down so you better start killing them now it says as he drops it and then flies away the demons and human rush at each other planning to kill each other hagromo stared in utter fear at what had just happened his child of prophecy was destroyed and now the legendary Scarlet Witch's son was the child who would decide the fate of this world, of his world. A child who wouldn't bring peace but either destroy everything or rule over it like a dictator, like Kagya, like his mother. No, he couldn't allow this. He wouldn't let this come to be. The people he loved, the world he loved couldn't become like that. It couldn't become a collection of the legendary nine of Chiron, the elder god that granted the Scarlet Witch and her family their powers. Hagoromo made his way to the Shinigami. What do you want you fake god Hagoromo Otsuki? The Shinigami says as Hagoromo went to the god of death. I wish to bargain with you Shinigami Sama. You know that he's a threat. Hagoromo says Naruto Maximoff, the son of the Scarlet Witch. Are you mad? Even if you manage to defeat him, which is unlikely, which is impossible in fact. You will have to face the wrath of his mother and that is someone that even the gods fear. I fear her myself, the Shinigami says. Please Lord Shinigami, you have to listen to me. He's a threat to your rule. He will take over your territory. Surely a god like yourself couldn't and wouldn't allow such a thing to happen, Hagromu says, appealing to the Shinigami's ego. You're right, but what can you do against the child that possesses chaos magic, the legacy of Chiron? the elder god that gave the Scarlet Witch line the powers. This is your fault, you know. Your prophecy is the reason we are in this mess. If you never told that stupid toad who I'm torturing about the child of prophecy, the boy wouldn't have been neglected to a point where his chaos magic fully awakens. He would have been neglected to a point where only his telepathic powers awaken. Yes, but he wouldn't be as dangerous, Shinigami says. I know, I wish to make up for my sins. Sins, please, with the help of Madre Uchiha, Hashirama Senju, my brother, Hagoromo Usuki, Toby Ramasenju, the fourth of Kage and his wife, Memo, Mito and Sasuke, we could seal him away. We could also do the same to his mother, Hagoromo says, pleading on his knees. You're serious about this, about your ability to be able to do this. Fine, I'll give you one chance, but only because I can brag to the other god that I defeat the legendary Scarlet Witch. It's not like it will affect me in any negative way, but know this, if you die, your brother and your Lover shall be punished, Shinigami says with a evil, lurid smile on his face. Thank you, Lord, Shinigami, Hagoromo says, as Hagoromo then Smoth is. Hagoromo says as he explained the whole Scarlet Witch legend and everything. N Naruto is that dangerous? Mama asks, terrified of Naruto's magic. The demon dares to be better than Uchiha elite. No, with the Sage of Six Paths help, I'll become stronger than him. No, I'll rule this world, Mama and Sasuke both fought. Yes he is, now we must prepare. Sasuke, I have given you a Rinnegan. 
and the moon seal. Menma, I have given you the six paths mode and the sun mark. Madra shall train Sasuke while Hashirama shall train Menma. Madra, you two have gotten the moon mark while Hashirama, you two have gotten the sun and the six paths mode. Hashirama, don't forget because you lost the wood release because the witch's son has destroyed all leaf bloodlines. I have made it up by giving you the Sage of Six Pass mode, which you and Memma will both need to train, Hagroma says. Fine, as you wish, both Hashirama and Madra said in unison. Soon, Nato, I will see you, you and your mother away. If I could see my own mother away, then seeing some random child who is a threat will be easy, Hagroma says with a big ego. Nato was currently on the way to the mist. He had heard from the Namakazi prick, M Nama Minato, when he was in the village that the rebellion leader Maiturumi needed help but was denied from the leaf. This was the perfect ch chance for him to test his power. Naruto descended down from the sky with a huge boom, destroying half of the loyalist shinobi loyal to Yagura. He saw the rebellions being decimated. Who the hell do you think you are hurting my people, my shinobi? Yagura yelled. I'm the one who will put an end to this war and show you your place, Yagura. Naruto says as he uses his telekinesis ability to hover Mai towards him with his arm. He then grabs onto her bridal style and puts her down. Are you alright? Naruto asks with concern as Mai blushes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Mai says as Naruto smiles, making a blush even more. That's good. Now just stay here. I'll take care of this, Naruto says. As Mai said, okay, and slowly went behind Naruto. Yago is mad. This kid was looking down on him. What are you waiting for? The Sage of Six passed to be revived? Attack him, you minions. Kill that kid, Yago yells as the loyalist charged at Naruto. Naruto put his hand out with his red glow and then made the entire loyalist hover up with his telekinesis. Then he did some squeezing hand gestures as the shinobi's head just popped off. Those were your elites. You must be truly pathetic. Just take the leaf, Naruto says. My people, how dare you, you dirty bloodline user, you dirty demon. Your parents mated with demons to get those abilities. That's how you bloodline users are made. What? Yago says. What is it with people calling me a demon, Naruto says. You are one, Yago yelled. Well, technically, you're a demon in human skin since you have the three tails inside of you, Naruto says. Yago got mad as three tails chakra started to leak from his body. How dare you? How dare you say such lies? I'm a messiah. I will eradicate all demons. All you demon children. All you blind users must be killed. I will not stop at Kiri, Kiri, Gakure. I will not stop at the Miss Village. I will crush all you bloodline users from every single nation. I will fix this world, Yaga madly claimed. The three tails had fully formed. Yaga opened his mouth as the three tails made a tail beast bomb and fires it at Naruto. Stop, Naruto says, as the tail beast bomb stopped midair. What the hell happened, your Jagra? What did you do, my shot? Since you ask, my dear, I will explain. My powers allow me to warp and bend reality to my will. Take a look, Yagra. Why didn't you dance for me, Yagra? Naruto says, as Yagra started to dance in his free tail state, making everybody laugh. I will show you a little bit more of my powers. Miss Bloodline users shall be revived and all teleported here. Naruto says as the rebellion forces that were killed suddenly were revived and back in front of Mai as people were basically yes like reuniting and like hugging their families and stuff like that. Mai was shocked as she saw her sister who was killed. Thank you Mr. Mai says as she was got out of her shock state. How did you do that Mai asked. I told you already I could control reality now that Measly tailed beast bomb shall get 50 times stronger and will kill Yagra, Naruto says, as the tailed beast bomb got 50 times the size it was and launched itself at Yagra, killing him. Everybody was shot. After a few minutes, they finally broke out the shot state. He's a god. The gods have saved us. He must be stronger than the Sage of Six Paths, yelled the Miss Shinobi. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mai said, as she pulled Naruto into a hug and kissed him. Naruto then blushed. Uh, it was nothing, Naruto says, as Mai saw this and saw his blush and had the devious idea in her head. Ada, ada, it seems Naruto-kun is shy, Mai says, as 
seductively as Nata started to blush even more. Ah, let me help you rebuild this village, Nata then thought of Wakanda from Wanda's memories as the Mist Village was then shifted to from a devastated Mist Village to the Golden City of Wakanda. Holy shit, it's beautiful. He must really be a god. The Mist Villagers and Shinobi were yelling. A minute later, they were in front of the council in the Mizu Kagi's throne room, which was basically T'Challa's throne room. My and our savior, we didn't get your name, the elder says. Nato, Nato Maximoff, Nato says. Ah, Nato Maximoff, we thank you for your hard work and helping us beat Yagda and helping us rebuild. Name your price, the elder says. I would like to join the Mist Village to make it the greatest nation and destroy the leaf, Nato says, shocking them as Nato then explained his life at the leaf and the council was outraged. How dare these monsters, these leaf demons hurt their savior and the true god. He was no demon, he was a god. Yago was a demon. They smirked knowing that leaf was powerless. When Nato told them that it, he took their bloodlines, gave them chakra failure and much, much more. With the information you have given us and a request from Mai, we have decided to accept that request. Nato Maximoff, it is with pleasure that we offer you the position of the next Mizukagi and the first Mizukagi of the Neo Mist Village, the elder says as the council chaired. I accept, Nato says, smiling. I promise to make the mist the best, Nato says. A few days later, we now see a leaf Ambu running towards the Hokage office. He was in shock and terrified. He rushes into the office without any notice to see Dryer, Minato and Krishna snarly, staring there, standing there. What is the meaning of this tiger? Minato yells in a bad mood and drunk, still angry at what Nata had done, weakening them to the point where they were useless. It's the demon, my lord. He's been located, Tiger says. Then what are you waiting for? Do what we discuss and send the Ambu squadron to take him out before he becomes even more of a threat. To my children, Minato yells, mad at hearing Nata's name, grabbing a glass ball and throwing it at Tiger the Ambu. That's not possible, my lord, anymore says Tiger as he dodged a glass cup that was thrown at him. He was afraid like most Shinobi, the Hokage was now really terrifying, especially after he was drunk. He was now a drunk abusive also since the event that had occurred. And do tell me why it's not possible, why you, an elite elite, is weaker to a, than a toddler. Minato yells throwing kunais before Krishna stopped him. Calm down Minato-kun, now tell us Tiger, and you Minato, I don't want to hear a word from you. You can't treat your shinobi like that. Have faith in the prophecy, Krishna says. Ah yes, uh, Lady Namakazi. Uh, Nata's entered the bingo book. He killed Yagra and a hundred thousand shinobi. He then rebuilt the mist, making it way better than all of the nations combined. It's even more advanced than the snow village. It's impossible to enter. It has some sort of energy barrier, not powered by chakra seals. But the worst thing is, He's now got di diplomatic immunity because he's now the Mizukagi, my lord, Tiger says. As Minato lets out a roar of rage like an animal and then made a Rasengan before Krishna changed them up before Minato could kill the Ambu. Dry is seeing Minato be chained up by Krishna, laughs and giggles. Oh Krishna, you naughty girl, Dry says perverted as Sanadi hits him before Dry could get out his notebook and start making notes. Shut up you perv. Tiger, leave quickly. We need to prepare. Minato, he's doing what he said. He's already become a Kagi, Sanadi said. And a few days has even passed, Krishna says. You're right. You can go now. You can let, you're right. You can let go of me now, Krishna. I'm sorry. I just hate the demon so much. He ruined our lives. He was the reason why the village was attacked that night. He was the son of the QB. But... We can't think of that right now. We have to toughen the Shinobi Academy. We can't let ourselves appeal to the civilians anymore. Dryer, have the civilian council and the elder council executed. They've weakened the village far too much. Sunadi, you will start teaching chakra control and healing jutsus towards the students of the academy. Krishna and Dryer Sensei, you will teach stealing. We will then get Guy to teach Taijutsu, Kurenai to teach Genjutsu and Kakashi to teach ninjutsu. The clans will no longer get money and the extra rights they have because they are nothing now. They are no longer bloodline possessors which makes them just ordinary shinobi. All of their exclusive jutsu will be available for everyone. Oh and I'll have Itachi massacre the Uchiha clan to make Sasuke have a ba bad backstory because everyone 
like all of us had a bad, bad backstory and that made us get stronger and I also have been executed the Hugo elders since they won't cooperate and they will also make Hinata stronger Minato says unknown to him a mist drone shaped like a spider was listening in it was now the leaf team assignment day we see Memma and Sasuke sparring with Madra and Hashirama as Memma charged up Madra with a Rasengan while Sasuke charged up Hashirama with a Chidori. Madra taught Sasuke how to use his Rinnegan in the past few years while Hashirama trained Memma to use Taijutsu and the Sage of Six Master mode but not the wood release since they don't have the wood release anymore it doesn't exist. Hashirama was still kind of angry about that. Memma and Sasuke were fighting Hashirama and Madra who were at 20%. In the end Madra and Hashirama defeated Memma and Sasuke as they were still too weak. Hagoromo then called everybody towards him as the Kages, the past Kages and Memma Mito, M- as Memma and Sasuke and Madra came towards him. Hagoromo Sama, how can we help? Madra says, which as Sasuke agreed. What's up old man sage? Memma and Hashirama said. The sage smiled. They reminded him of his sons Indra and Ashura. Well my children, it's time for you to go back to the village. A lot has changed. The thief has become the weakest nation, while the witch's son has become the Mizukage and brought the mist to the top. We need you to restore the leaf's strength. The boy has gone too far, bringing unfair advantages like vibranium, a strong metal from a different place, Hagoromo says as he explains vibranium. Memma and Sasuke got mad. And you just left us here? While my home became the laughing stock of the shinobi nations? Memma yelled with rage. My clan was massacred? And you never told me? Mother and father won't know of my strength. I'll never see them again, Sasuke says. I know it's hard for you, but it had to be done. Don't forget, this is all Naruto's fault. Naruto was responsible for weakening the clan and the village. It wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Naruto, the sage lied. As Memma and Sasuke got mad. I will kill him. I will destroy him. And the mist, says Memma and Hagoromo and Sasuke as Hagoromo chuckled. Yes, you will. Now is the time for you to, to leave, he says as the two nodded. They were then transported home. They dispelled the blood guns and got their memories. They were mad. The hardships their family, the village had gone through because of the demon witch's son. They looked at each other and nodded. They were mad. They made a promise that they would restore this and fix it. They then made their way to the academy where Uruka started to announce the teams. He went from 1 to 6 as they were just random shinobis that were actually really strong, like stronger than canon team 7 since the since most, pe- most shinobis had perfect chakra control really good genjutsu almost everybody had two like all of the shinobis had like two gates access to the two gates they had like lots of sh- ninjutsus because Kakashi guy and all of the changes that Minato made team 7 under Kakashi and Krishna Menlo, Mito, Sakura and Sasuke everybody shared at the village elites being put on one same team while Kiba was mad how come Sasuke gets to be with Mito-chan? Kiba yells shut up Kiba you aren't special anymore now shut your mouth and be a good dog Iruka yelled making the clan heads look sad ever since Naruto did what he did the clans were jokes they weren't strong anymore they weren't respected a few weeks have passed Naruto sat on his throne as the seven swordsmen had almost been recovered they just needed one more Zabuza and that was all Naruto would have used his powers to locate him but that would have been boring Naruto suddenly heard a knock on his door come in Naruto says my lord Zabuza has been spotted working with Gato we have gotten word that Leaf has dispatched a team to defend the man named Tazna the team's leaders are Krishna the Red Death and Kakashi Hatake of the Thousand Jutsus. It also has your siblings and the Uchiha and the civilian merchant daughter of the Haranos on the team. The Ambu says, that's interesting. Tell me, Mai, can you take over for a bit? Naruto says, of course Naruto can. Mai says as Naruto nodded. It's time for the leaf to be reminded of their place, Naruto says chuckling. Naruto then felt a pulse of familiar familiar magic far away but he ignored it. Zabza was panting. He was currently participating in a losing battle. The brats of the Red Death 
was really strong. How did the Red Death and Kakashi of the Thousand Jutsu train such a strong duo? The two boys were so strong, they were Kage level at minimum. Is this the great Zabuza? Mamma taunted, as Hakutu was being destroyed. I guess the great Yuki clan is inferior to the Supreme Uchiha's, Sasuke says, as Krishna and Kakashi stared in amazement. Zabuza was strong, he was m managing to fight both of them before Menma and Mito started toying with them. That's my Menma, Sochi. Show those Miss Losers the place. Naruto would soon know that the leaf is the above all, Krishna yelled. Sasuke, Sasuke, show them the power of Obito's clan, Kakashi yells. Chidori, Rasengan, Menma and Sasuke says, rushing at Zabuza and Haku, but then a fool sent them flying back. Who did that? Mema yells as Sasuke looked around. Ha 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 ha. It seems you've gotten stronger, Menma Sasuke, a familiar voice that ignited fear the two says. The two then looked up. You, they said, as Naruto descended down like a god. Me, Naruto says. I will kill you for what you did, Mema yells, rushing at Naruto only for Naruto to send him black back using his telekinesis. Naruto Uzumaki for the destruction of Leaf, preview of bloodlines and Attacking the leaf shinobi, you'll be executed, Kakashi says, making Chidori. Tatabane! Krishna yelled, making chakra chains wrap around Naruto to hold him in place. Chidori! Kakashi yells. Oh no, I better help Kakashi, Sasuke thought. Chidori, he says, as he also came at Naruto with speeds faster than Kakashi. Naruto envelops himself in red energy, which broke the chains, sending Krishna flying back. Mother! Mita yelled as she was surrounded in Krama's chakra. She then rushed at Naruto with Sakura who had perfect chakra control. I've had enough of you. You're not ready to face me. Naruto yells as he puts his hand out, making everybody stop in midair or wherever they were. Naruto then sends everybody flying back. He then grabs Zabuza, Haku and Tazuna and teleports to Gato's base, hovering above it. What are we doing here? Zabuza asks. Naruto ignored him before aiming his hand and shooting chaos magic, destroying the base. Thank you, Tazuna says. No problem. Perhaps we could talk about an alliance between the mist and the wave. Naruto says, oh, Whatever you want, sir. Tazna says, not wanting to piss off this person that destroyed Zabza and those shinobis with ease. They then hovered down where Zabza told the village how Naruto saved the village. Naruto smiled as the village made a bridge towards the mist village dedicated to him. Naruto then turned to Zabza with his eyes narrowed. Zabza Mamachi, Hakuyuki, as I am the Muzukagi. I hereby order you to return to the Mist Village. You have been pardoned for your attack on the last Mizukagi. As I see, you did no wrongs. Naruto says, We accept, Zabza says, as Naruto smiled. He then teleported back towards the Mist with both of them. When Naruto arrived, the Mist cheered. Naruto then went to the throne room, where Mai came up to him with news. Naruto Kun, it's just as our spy drone reported. The cloud, rock, and sound have formed an alliance with the sun to take down the leaf. They are sending a party to us for us to join, Mai said as she hugged his head into her breast, not a smirk. A little blush from you and him. It's finally time for me and the mist to become the true rulers of this world. Suddenly, a scarlet shade of red appeared. It then took the form of a woman. Ambu, Mai yelled, seeing the threat as Ambu saw the threat and rushed at the unidentified person. The Ambu charged but Naruto put out his hands in a stop motion. Hello, mum, Naruto says. Hello my baby boy, Wanda says, in the hidden land of the Hagoromo. Hagoromo's eyes wide in fear, it can't be, why is she here? So early, Hagoromo says. Brother, we have lost, Hamura says. What's going on, old man Hagoromo, says Hashirama. Hashirama, be respectful, but what's going on? Madre says, the Scarlet Witch has arrived, Hagoromo said with fear. Her mere presence has scared him. Mom, is that you? Naruto started out. As Wanda nodded, holding out her arms as Naruto rushed into her arms and embraced her in a hug. I missed you so much, Mum. I gave the Leaf Village a prelude to what's to come, Naruto says as one Wanda ruffles her son's head. That's my boy. So what else have you, you done? Wanda asks. I saved the country. I made it become an advanced nation like Wakanda from your world. In fact, I based it off Wakanda, Naruto said as he took her to the window and showed her the country. He really is our boy, isn't he, Vision? After everything he went through, he still saved an innocent village from war. I wonder if Stark was alive, instead of Rogers, 
would he be able to bring you back? Would he be able to have stopped Spider-Man's identity from leaking Wonder Fort? As she had a little bit of malice towards Rogers for leaving and abandoning them. You really are mine and Vision's son. Did you know we used to be superheroes? Wanda said. Really mum? Used to be superheroes? Did you save princesses? Nata asked like a child with what little innocence he had remaining. No, but we saved the entire universe from a purple alien with a nut sack for a skin, for a chin, called Thanos, that had these stones that allowed him to literally warp reality to his will, says Wanda, still in pain as she thought of Thanos who killed Vision. Not to seeing this hugs her. Why don't we try to bring him back, mum? Surely our powers, both of our powers will be able to accomplish that, Nata says. Well, we can try, Wanda says. Oh, and I'm going to meet the Raikage in the Suchikage, who wants to form an alliance to destroy the leaf, Nata says. Well, that's good then. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Krishna Minato, I'll show those bastards who hurt you. True pain, Wanda says, sadistically as her eyes glowed red. Okay, mum, Nata says. He couldn't wait for those bastards to suffer at the hands of his mum, who would make sure that they felt pain like none other. We, know got, we now go to Krishna's point of view. Krishna was mad as she stomped her way back to the leafage. Her children were injured. In fact, her face was scarred from being sent flying away by that demon, demon brat Naruto. But it wasn't just that. That bastard, how dare he attacks the leaf elites and my baby boy Menma. How dare he stops leaf superiority from being shown by saving Zabuza. Does he not know how much fame Menma could have gotten if he killed Zabuza? Krishna thought as they made their way back to the village. Mito looked at Sasuke and Menma. They were mad but scared. Hey, Nichan, Sasuke, are you okay? Mito asked. No, I'm not, M Mito. His power is beyond anything. No matter what training I do, no matter what I do, he's so strong. Why is that failure so strong? Memma yelled in anger. Sasuke grunted in agreement. Memma Sochi, we just need to work harder. Then you and Mito can kill the demon. Just like the prophecy prophesies, Krishna says. Sasuke kun, you could do it as well. You were able to best Zabza, who took on both our senses, says Sakura. As she thought the demon had just got turned lucky. Whatever, Memma says as they saw the leaf village gates. Lady Krishna, are you or are you okay? Yelled the Tunans as they went up to her to check. I I'm okay. We need to get Minato. It's a cold A level 100 situation, Krishna says. The demon. The Tunans asked in fear as they remember what the demon did. Krishna nodded. Damn it. They yelled as they signaled the Ambu who escorted the team to the Kagi's office. Minato sat in his office when he saw Team 7 enter the office. Krishna chan, Mito chan, Memma Sochi. Are you okay? Mi Minato yelled, not noticing the others as he only cared for his family. Minato, it's bad. We were attacked by a demon who Krishna was cut off, who became the king of the Mist Village. I know, Dry told us, remember? Minato says. What do we do, Minato? The exams are currently done and the other Kagis will be sending their elite gods to come. The Mist has also sent the gods. We can't deny them entry or will be starting a war, Krishna says, worried for Memma and Mito and what Naruto would do to them. I don't know, Minato says. When suddenly a huge light crashed down, Ambu surrounded the area as they pointed their weapon towards the light. When it died down, everyone was shocked as it revealed a few familiar figures. Lord First, Second, Third, Mardo Chia and some random guy I never met that has the renin gun, they said. Hey old man, Memma says as Sasuke punched him. That's the Sage of Six Paths. Show some respect, Sasuke says. You're the Sage of Six Paths? No, Minato started out before falling off his chair. That I am, Hagoromo said. Oh, what are you doing here? Please don't tell me you're here to destroy us. Minato says, No, I'm not. I'm here to help you eliminate the problem you've been having. Naruto, he is a danger to all, all of the world right now. He is teaming up with the other villagers to take down the leaf, but he doesn't know something. The other villagers are actually on my side, Hagoromo says. So you will help us, and you're on our side. With you on our side, we'll win, Krishna yelled happy. Hagoromo then explained everything, leaving out the part of Naruto being the son of the Scarlet Witch, as he didn't want to demoralize them, and wanted them to be enraged and bloodthirsty and to kill Naruto. How can members the child of prophecy Mito whines when Hagoromo explained that? I'm just better than you, Mito, teased Menma. Very well, Lord Hagoromo. The leaf forces are under your command, just like how the cloud sand 
and the rock are. Minato says, just you wait demon, you'll get your due for everything you've done. The sage is past, we'll make sure of it. Minato thought. We now go to Nata's point of view. Nata sat on his throne. A figure was beside him as his mother was on the other side of him. In front of him was three people, three important people. The Raikage A, the Suchikage Oniki and the Kazakage Raza. The three shook hands but it was unseen that a little bit of black ink was put onto Nata Wanda's hands as the other figure just ignored them. He was just a god or is that what they thought? So, you wish to destroy the leaf village? Very well, I am in, Naruto says. Our shinobi have already entered the exams just like yours. Tomorrow we shall attack. Raza sun should alert you, Oniki says as Naruto smirks. Yes we shall, I can't wait to destroy the leaf village. That piece of shit, Naruto thought. As the ka Kazakage mentally chuckled, you will be the one to be destroyed. And then I shall have this land. As the A and Oniki were also thinking the same thing. Very well then, we shall now take our leave. The Kagi said as Naruto nodded. The Kagis were then escorted out. So Oniki, we've done our mission. We've given him the seal that was given to us by the Seiya 6 Pass. We shall now seal him away and we should get the rare metal and I shall take over this land. I hate working with him. Hey, wait a minute, what do you mean you get this land? I hate working with Konoha but the Seiya 6 Pass promised to remove your Uchiha and Uzumaki opposing us. And then I shall take this land and its metal, Oniki says. After the arrogant Kagi who calls himself a king is done, we shall destroy Konoha and then I will take this land, Raza says. Well then, I guess we'll have to fight for who gets that land. You know what? Take the land, Kazakagi says. I will take the Fire Nation, he says. Oh hell no, I'll take that, said Oniki as they start to bicker. Lord Ka Kazakagi, it has been done, we have killed Orochimaru as you asked, said some of the Jonin, as they were also with B and Yugito and the other Jinchurikis. Eventually they reached the Cloud Village, where they saw the Sage of Six Pass waiting for them. Lord Sage, it has been done, we have inter infiltrated and given Nar to the seal, the Raikagi said. Good, when the invasion begins, your Jinchurikis will attack the Mist Forces and your Kagis will activate the special binding seal. The seal uses the target's power to sustain itself so Naruto will not be able to break out and neither will that demon witch wonder, says Hagoromo. But we have something else to report to you, Oniki says. That is right. There was a man standing there alongside the target. He was wearing a yellow cape but we couldn't see anything else because he was in the dark, A said. It's nothing, the sage dismissed not knowing that that will be his downfall. The next day, Naruto and Wanda walked into the leaf village with Mai, his girlfriend, beside Naruto. Naruto had his arms around Mai, Turumi, as they were also accompanied by Zabuza, who was surrounded in a version of vibranium armor that was like the Black Panthers, but without any cat features. Mai, are you prepared? Naruto asked using his, his communication beads to talk to her. Yes, my king. I've got my communication beads ready to contact our forces. The other Kagi forces aren't here yet, from what I've heard. She says as N Naruto gets suspicious. Where the hell are they? I thought they were going to attack the leaf with us, Naruto asks. Oh, we've just got a messenger. They said that they will attack after we attack, Mai said. Hmm, I don't trust them, Mai. Be prepared for friendly fire. We must want what we have. Tell to be ready for an attack, Naruto says. Ah, Mizukagi, it's nice for you to join us, said A as Naruto, Wanda and Mai entered the room. Ah, it's nice to meet you too, eh? Naruto says. Well, I never expected a kid, Oniki says, playing like he never met Naruto. You have some nerve returning here, you demon, Krishna says. Hokage, control your wife or she might start a war because of her incompetence, Naruto says. Do not disrespect my wife, Mizukagi, and Krishna, please control yourself. We have to keep ourselves neutral for now. Minato says, as the matches then started, Naruto looked in anger as Memma beat up Neji. He saw Mito beat up Shikamaru, those two angered him, he wanted them to lose so badly. But then the fight that they have been waiting for came. The fight between Sasuke and Gara has started. Gara started to transform into the one to us. Naruto and Wanda tried to get out but found themselves restrained, unable to move. As they looked at the Kagis, they saw them all holding a hand sign. What the hell is going on, Naruto says. 
He flashed and appeared as all of the Kargis, as well as the Siege of Six Pass, took their stance, as well as the revived Kargis, the first Okagi, the second Okagi, the third Okagi, Madro Chia, Hamada Sosuki. They were all surrounding Naruto, as they all started doing hand signs, trying to seal Naruto away. It's over Scarlet Witch and Son of Scarlet Witch. You will not harm this world ever again. These seals will use your own power to keep you restrained. Hagoroma says, suddenly a boom was heard as the mist forces started to attack. Minato was mad. You damn demon, go off the attack now. Minato yelled, punching Naruto. Suddenly an electric fist hit Minato, sending him back. What the hell are you doing, A? Minato said as he looked at A who was surrounded with his electric armor. Krishna then sent chains at A, only for Oniki to disintegrate them. We only agreed to take down the demon boy and his mother. Now we shall destroy the leaf village and take over the leaf village and over the mist village, he said. No, we must work together. The seal is still not fully done, uh, yelled Hagoromo. A yellow beam suddenly hit Hagoromo, sending him and the Kagis flying away. Hagoromo looked up in fear as he saw a yellow cape, a red face, and a humanoid android appearing and staying above, hovering above them. How dare you restrain my child and wife? He yelled, enraged, as Hagoromo looked in, had a look of fear on his face. To Vision, Hagoromo said, as Vision rushed at Hagoromo, grabbing him by the neck, throwing him in, out of the booth. Naruto rushed at Memamito, as without the Sage Six Paths, the seal never worked. He also went towards the traitorous Kagis, as he punched all of them, sending them flying out of the booth. Dad, I'll take care of the sage and his brother. You take care of these traitors, Naruto yelled. As you wish, my son. As the two traded places, Vision went flying towards his prey. Naruto's eyes turned red as he landed right in front of the sage of six paths and his brother, Hamada Otosuki. His eyes were full of rage. How dare you chain me, like the Namakazis and Uzumakis did. Naruto yells with rage as he shot a beam, killing Hagoromo instantly. Brother, yelled Hamura as he charged at Naruto, who just used his telekinesis to stop in mid-air. Naruto then revived Hagoromo. Watch as I kill your brother, you dirty little human Osuski hybrid, Naruto says as he looked at Hagoromo. Brother, yelled Hagoromo. He then turned to Na Naruto. You let him go. He had no part in this, Hagoromo said. Well, he's there, isn't he? He's trying to stop me. For that, he will pay. Naruto smirked as he said that, as then he did a little squeeze gesture as Hag Hagoromo's brother's head exploded. You monster, how dare you kill my brother, Hagoromo yelled as he let out a pain-filled roar and formed a susano. Hagoromo then swung his blade at Naruto, only for it to be covered in red and stopped. Naruto then threw Hagoromo into the leaf shelters, crushing them all to death. Naruto looked at Hagoromo's down formed as he walked up to him with a smirk. He then used his telekinesis powers to make Hagoromo over up as he started to stretch his body as Hagoromo roared in pain. He then ripped off his arms, his legs, his head, killing him as he brought him back to life. He repeated the process over and over again, making Hagoromo scream out in pain as he died. As Hagoromo was now on his knees, mentally broken. So, he would make a deal with the Shinigami to save these abusers, but you wouldn't help me. You fake god, Naruto says with mad rage. You aren't worth it. You aren't worth as much as the world. The world made you suffer for a good reason, to protect the child of prophecies. An abomination like yourself, not from this world, and the son of evil, should be grateful to ha even have that choice, Hagoromo said as Naruto got mad. His eyes glowed red as Hagoromo screamed in fear as he watched his lover cheat on him hundred times. As he watched everything bad happen towards him, he watched Kaguya be free and destroy the world over and over again. Not my love, he yelled as Naruto laughed, watching him in his nightmare. No mother, don't destroy humanity, he cried out. I know exactly how to make you suffer, Naruto says, as he stopped Hagoromo's nightmare. And then with a click of his fingers, his wife was in front of him. Hagoromo, she said. Yuki-chan, he says, as Naruto's eyes grew red and her eyes turned red. How dare you attack Lord Naruto, the greatest being, you lesser pig, you yelled, as she rushed at Hagoromo. She grabbed a knife stabbing him as Hagoromo was unable to fight against her as she stabbed him stabbed him over and over again. This is your punishment for kill for trying to mess with me. 
the one true ruler of this universe, the one true ruler of this multiverse. Nata said as he laughed, for that you will now destroy, have to kill your lover or she will destroy you, Nata said. No, I can't, he says, as he was then stabbed and killed. He had a look of betrayal on his face, as he knew that now that she had killed someone, she would be going to hell and they will be separated forever. Well, guess that's that, Nata says, as he was smiling at separating Yuki from Hagoromo forever. Wanda was currently ripping Minato and Krishna apart and putting them together again and again. You dare hurt my son, you stupid whore, you dumb bastard, she yelled in rage. He is not your son, he's the demon Kyuubi's son, yelled Krishna. How dare you? I chose you as a vessel to give birth to him. You should have treated him like a king, a god. But you dare call him a demon, torture my child. I've encountered many evil people, many selfish people, like Hydra, Thanos, and that lion coward Steve Rogers who abandoned me. But you, however, take the cake to abuse a child, my child, and that will not slide when the yells would rage. But now I have the perfect way to make you suffer. Her eyes goes red as the Miss Snowy were ordered to return to safe areas through the comms that was ordered by Wanda. As suddenly several red blobs of magic was seen as the all took form of the nine-toed fox. Several nine-toed foxes appeared. They then rushed at the village, trying to tear it down. This power. No wonder the sage wanted him dead. We've lost. Our arrogance made us lose. We should have sided with the sage. Her power is incredible. But what the Kage, the Raikage, the Tsuchi Kage and the Kazukage were saying. Stop it now, Minato yelled. That's my village, my home. Krishna says as she was going to watch another one of her home be destroyed as Wanda smirked and laughed. They rushed at Wanda trying to kill her. Minato and Krishna shall not have any more chakra, Wanda says as the two dropped down chakraless. No, give it back, we needed to save the village, they yelled. You really think I'll let you save this little dump that hurt my child? Do not beg it, she says. You demand me, the Scarlet Witch, to obey you. It's time that you learnt your place, Wanda says as her eyes turned red and they started to scream. They saw their worst nightmares over and over again as they fell unconscious. Vision was currently fighting the Kagis, which consisted of Lord First, Lord Second, Lord Third, Madra Uchiha, Menma Mito, Sasuke, A, Oniki, and Raza. He dodged the Susanoo blade from Sasuke and then went intangible, going through the Susanoo and punching Sasuke, sending him flying out of the Susanoo. As his Rinnegan eyes were hurt, somehow Sasuke managed to get a bit of the sage's Susanoo chakra and managed to use the Rinnegan to recreate it. The same was done to Madra who had also done the same thing. He then shot a mind beam at both Memma and Hashirama who was in their nine toes mode trying to create well Sage of Six Pass and Nine Till Sage of Six Pass moves, trying to create a Bijudama and firing it at them as they both combined the Bijudamas and threw it at Vision, whose mind beam just intercepted it, overpowered it, sending it back at Memma and Hashirama, ripping their lower half. As Sakura and Mito lost both of their chakra trying to heal the wound that they had. Of course they were now legless. How dare you stop us from destroying the monster, you damn freak! yelled A who appeared behind Vision with his lightning armor and then hit him with a lightning punch only for there to be a shockwave as his fist connected with the vibranium sending him flying back his arm was blown the f off as everybody else was sending back this could the Suchikage who was charging a particle style to hit Kaza Raza the Kazukage killing him please you have to stop look those monsters you call a family, they made nine toes out of nowhere. The demon, the monsters, the freaks that need to be ended or sealed away. Hiruzen yelled. Don't you dare speak about my family like that. Vision yelled, shooting a mind beam at the third Hokage and the second Hokage, which A and Oniki were in the blast range of as a big boom was heard and they were killed. Memma, Sasuke were the only ones that remained as Vision ripped out the hearts of Hashirama and Madara Uchiha. The remainder of the leaf village was now gathered in front of Naruto, Vision and Wanda and Mai. Mai who was hugging onto Naruto as she kissed his cheeks making Naruto blush. The people gathered were Naruto's main torturers. The nine tails, several nine tails surrounded them. They were looking at their snacks 
in front of them were the rookies, the Sanins, the council, parents and the root of the people who had hurt him. Monsters of the leaf village. This is what happens when you mess with my son, Wanda says. You're the monster. How dare you call us monster, Krishna yelled. As, Krish as Krishna was then lifted up as she was slammed against the wall thousands of times making her bleed over and over again. Now then, it's time for your punishment. Let's start off with the elder, Wanda says as she levitated Donzo up to her nine toes fox. Wait, she's not gonna, Snarly said. Hey boy, here's an appetizer, Wanda said as she froze Donzo at the tailed beast at her pet nine tailed foxes. Donzo tried to use his wind style to get away, but one of the beasts had already jumped up high, tearing off his arm with the shining gun on it. The root tried to jump in to save the monster, but suddenly glow red as they can't move. Now, now, wait your turn. You, you get your opportunity to be eaten later on, Wanda says, as she started to wave her fingers, making the root just fall down, unable to move. Clutching his bleeding arm, Danzo tried to run, but the beast had already surrounded him as they were walking closer and closer. No, stay back, stay back you beast, yelled Danzo, taking out his kunai and waving it like a madman. The beast, the beast swung its claw, destroying both the kunai and his hand. As one of the beasts started to eat the hand, the others started to jump into Danzo, tearing him apart, eating him up. Danzo's pains of agony were heard all over the elemental nations. As flesh, as flesh tearing sounds made the people who had weak hearts vomit, especially the root who had to watch their master now be feasted on by a pack of demon beasts. Ha 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 this is what you deserve, one said sadistically. She, they, they, she, she fed him to the beasts, the monsters, get me away from them. Saka Memma and Mito yelled. The male root were also sent there, as one flicked her fingers, several female root operatives disappeared. What did you do to them? Asked Tsunadi, finding her voice. What else? Those girls will now become breeding factories for my pet demons. And trust me, they will breed to the points where the mind and body will break. Wanda said, smirking, as the females of the leaf that remained looked in fear. Nato, please don't do that to me. Amito, I beg you with family, Krishna pleaded. This is your fate, bitch, Nasa said as Neji got mad. Fate was his thing. How dare you? Fate is what I can command, not you. What Neji says. Oh really, you can command fate. Show me a little bit of power that you can do to command fate. Let me show you something. Neji is fated to kill Tenten, Nasa says as Neji grabbed his knife and stabbed Tenten over and over again. Neji, stop! No, please, I can't control myself. Naruto, stop it, that's my love. Neji said as Naruto laughed as Tenten's final words were I forgive you as she dropped down to the ground. Naruto of course used his magic to change it to where Tenten blamed Neji as Neji fell to the ground. <laughs> so who can control fate now Neji? Naruto says as Neji looked at him with anger. He couldn't move. Now then, it's time for the council. It's your turn. It was you who approved my baby boy's suffering. Wanda says as she hovered them towards the Ninetales. The beasts charged like their leashes were broken as they charged them man madly as Wanda gave them their food. The beasts then began fighting each other for the pieces of meat that were the civilian and shinobi council. Ah, help me, yelled Sakura's mother. Mother, no, Sakura yelled. You shall stay away from me, I am a Hyuga elite, Hizashi said as Hinata started to cry. Please leave my daddy alone. She said, guys, we could just think of a plan. Oh, Shikaku was, had his arms ripped off. Dad, no. I do not get eaten. I do the eating. Chaoji's father yelled as he was ripped apart. Father, no. As sounds of tearing flesh and cries were heard as the food was being cured and, and devoured. As we then see Sume, Kiba's mother, make a run for it. Oh, look, his, 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 Sume is running. Not says, the fat ones are also running, Wanda says. Oh look, the pinkhead slut got her due, Nata says. As the beast finally caught up to what was their prey, Sume, the last one, and they ripped her apart, eating her. The blood, the f whole field was scattered in blood and red. A scattered bones, piece of flesh and bl blood was all that was left. As we saw some beasts chewing on body parts, as some of them were using the bones to pick their, some skin out of their teeth. 
Naughty then turned to the rest of the villagers who looked at me in fear. My mum, my dad, sucker, cried out. Father, please, no, he not to cried out. Which were followed by the clan heads cries of their own parents dying. The only people that were alive now that were parents were, or elders were, Minato, Krishna, Dryer and Snoddy. Now then Dryer, it's time for you to suffer. Nata's eyes grew red as, just as Nata had promised, Dryer rushed at Snoddy, creating a Rasengan which Nata had allowed him to remember and slammed into Snoddy. As it connected, Nata stopped the control. Ha 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 ha, I told you I'd make you self-destruct, Nata says as he watched the Rasengan. Disintegrate Sonadi. I will kill you, Dry said, yelling and charging at Nata. Stop, Nata says as Dry stopped. Look at this, you can't even avenge yourself. All it does is for me to say a few words and you just obey like the little dog you are. For the rest of your life, none of you will be able to use chakra. You shall live forever and only watch the murder of your precious Nadi and the people you loved every second of your life as you will hear pain filled screams. You will hear them blaming you. Nata says, No, please no, Snoddy, it wasn't me, it was Nata, you have to believe me. What do you mean you don't believe me? Dryer cried out as soon as Nata said this. Snoddy, no, Dryer yelled. Wanda then waved their hands as the females of the leaf, which consisted of Minato, Hinata, Ino, Sakura, Krishna and Mito, were sent to orcs to be breeding stock. The males watched this as they stared in horror. Krishna, no, she's had enough, stop this, Nata, please, I beg you, Minato yelled. Hinata-chan, no, spare her, she's innocent, she's so sweet, Mama yelled. Hinata-chan, leave her alone, you monster, you demon, yelled Kiba. Sakura, no, yelled Sasuke. Inu, no, yelled Chaoji and Shikamo as they watched an orc use them over and over again. Now then, Chakra should now be non-existence in this world. You won't have the strength to ever harm me. No one in this world will ever have any malice towards me. Well, they can have malice towards me, but they will never be able to take their revenge on me. This is your punishment, Nata says as the eyes go red. And Chakra left the whole body. We now go to Sage Six Path's point of view, who is currently watching his brother cry as he was also cried, as the Shinigami used his wives, as just as the Shinigami promised, if they failed the mission, they forfeited their wives. This was the best deal I made. I knew those brats could never beat the Scarlet Witch and their son, but now I got some good slaves. The Shinigami laughed. As he said this, we now go a few years later. The Akatsuki were nothing, as they had no chakra, they couldn't do anything. Naruto had taken over the world, he had actually conquered the whole multiverse, using his power to bend it to his will with the help of Wanda and Vision, as they managed to make everybody see Naruto as a king. We now see a girl running towards Naruto. Dada, unlock my magic, she said, as Naruto looked at her. He was proud, she also unlocked chaos magic, which means that his daughter would carry on the line and become the next empress of this whole multiverse, the queen of all. That's my girl, Narko says. That's my girl, Narko, Naruto says. I'm gonna show grandma, she says as she rushed off to find Wanda. Grandma, grandma, look what I got. I got my magic, she says cheerfully as she saw Wanda, as she floated people higher, higher. That were the gods. That's our little princess. Look, Vision, Wanda says as Vision hovered towards Narko and lifted her up. Grandpa, look, I got my magic, she says as Vision smiled, that's my granddaughter. I wonder if Mr. Stark would have been proud, thought Vision. As he thought of his father, he was kind of sad. His father, from what one day told him, had risked his life to save the whole universe. Not a Maiden walked him. Mama, Mama, look, I got my magic, Narko says as Mai hugged Narko. That's that you did, my princess, just like my Narko kuns, Mai says as she petted Narko on the head as the family had lived a long and happy life together. But guys, that's all for today. Peace.